Hey guys, um, a lot of you guys have asked me of late to talk more about tech on my gaming channel, and so here I am. I was coming through my Facebook messages and whatnot, and um, this popped up, which is uh, Lee and Lee. They 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 make a, a, a really I, I can't really say high quality PC cases. They don't. I've I've had several of their cases, and they just brittle, crappy plastic. Or 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 have you ever wondered why certain plastics feel like sandpaper? You know, or or worse, they're brittle as fuck. Uh, part of my French. And the moment you you uh, go to pull on it, take the cover off, the bottom snaps or whatever. It's happened to me all the time. And every time it has, it's been a Lee and Lee case. So I wasn't really meh about this when I read this. Now, there is other alternatives to this desk. Um, but I'm going to show what they are. There's one called the Cross Desk from Red Harbinger. Um, Red Harbinger also do, you know, custom one-off cases like this one. That's the inverses. Basically, you take your motherboard and in, instead of your motherboard being in the typical orientation like this, where you got your, this is the back of your PC, they've actually flipped it so that this is your orientation because heat rises and there's, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. But that's the orientation in this case. And I'm not a fan of it. Um, I think it's great. I think it's you know, it's not really new new because they're at, they're at, uh, Cooler Master Raven uh, did that as well, um, but they also do a, a, a desk called the Cross Desk. Now every time I've tried to inquire about buying a Cross Desk, they're always out of stock, and I mean always out of stock. I have because at one point I I even had. Uh, uh, during one of my live streams, someone donate a thousand dollars to me and say put it towards getting a cross desk, and I'm like, great. And I was gonna take that money, use my PayPal, put it down as a down deposit. And when I did, um, I got an email back from Red Harbinger telling me that it's on back order and it's gonna be at least six to eight months. Six to eight months. Just no, I, I no man, no, not you're not taking a thousand dollars of my of, of my money or you know or my viewers' money, and making me wait. That's not how commerce works. It's okay. I'm in the market for a miniature MP3. Oh, you have one. Here's twenty dollars. Thank you. Have a nice day. You know that's how it works. Not oh, I'm in the market for a a a, a small MP3. Oh, you you have one. Great, how much? $20? Great. How much are $20? What do you mean I have to wait five years? What? You know, it, that's basically what it is to me. And I always wanted the cross desk because certain uh, hardcore case models I admire, like Lee from PC Junkie, uh, 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 um, he has his own cross desk. He actually had one of the first prototype cross desks. I don't even think Linus Media... Uh, 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 has even had their hands on a cross desk yet. See? Always out of bloody stock. How can it be on sale and out of stock? Why, why, why do you keep wanting us to, to, to write reviews for a product we can't buy? And so Lee and Lee stepped up with this thing. Um, now, they are in partners with Stand Up. That's the company who manufactures the desk. Um, basically, what it is, it, it is you'll see a whole bunch of controls over here, where the mouse is wiggling. That is so you can raise and lower the desk. The desk is meant for you to stand up while working to help reduce uh, uh, um, a lumbar, uh, 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 deep vein thrombosis and various other diseases that you get from constantly sitting like me, or in this case, beer gut. And... Um, they're, they're trying to do a whole healthy thing. For example, you can actually lift this pretty goddamn high and slide a um, one of those stupid running machines where you can run and work at the same time, which is kind of stupid because if you fall, you're going to smack your head on the desk. But still, um, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. But still, um, 
One of the things about this design that's got me scratching my bloody head is the placement of the USB 3 ports and an optical drive bay. I'll, re I'll say that again, and an optical drive bay. Over here is where the, the controls are for the desk. So, you know, lift it, lift it raise it, angle it, whatever. And the memory, because you can set memory profiles. For example, if you've got a, a, a household PC where everyone uses it, uh, your wife, your children, yourself, uh, and you've got multiple profiles on your, your Windows or your Mac, um, and your daughter sits there and you've got it, the desk up here, she can press her memory profile and the desk will lower to her exact height, which is pretty cool. Um, I know Linus has these uh, uh, stand-up stand-up desks in his office because he did it during his office tour. Uh, they sent him a whole bunch of these. Yeah. And what it does mean is, though, over on the far right, you've got your power and reset switches, your activity LEDs, and then right above the optical drive, I mean literally right above the optical drive, you've got the microphone jack, the headphone jack, and what looks like four USB 3.0 ports right above the optical drive port. Does, 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 do designers not realize something? When, when you go to put a disc in an optical drive, how do you do it? So I'm, I'm doing the action right now. You, you take said disc, you put disc in dry, tray, close tray, wait for all, you know, whatever, and pop up, yes, no, yes, no, install, whatever. Or, you know, no one slides in a disc sideways that I know of. No one. No one. No one. So, if you've got a couple of USB 3 devices, if you've got a couple of USB 3 devices, in the in, in in there, say a couple of you know, flash card adapters, or maybe even a micro card adapter, or or heavens above, you actually are a gamer, and you have. Uh, excuse me. Heavens above, you're an actual gamer, and you have a controller, with one of these stupid breakaway dongle things that that Microsoft invented. You know, how can you put a CD in when you've got something this big and clunky in the way? Or worse, the cable droops, it gets stuck in the drive tray and you're standing there for 20 minutes. <laughs> pushing the drive tray. You burn out the motor in the optical drive and the optical drive's dead now. GG. I think that they should have moved uh, 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 the USB um, ports or even the optical drive to the left, i.e. take your optical drive and just move it over. Because it's clear that according to this design, the motherboard is center of the desk. So you're not worrying about cable length. And if you're worrying about cable length, then you really shouldn't be buying a desk like this because it's clear you're gonna have to have custom sleeved cables done for your power supply, for your optical drives, if you have an optical drive, uh, for your hard drives, for, for your SSDs, for, for whatever, if you're not using an M.2. Um, speakers stuff like that plus apparently this desk is only four feet wide uh from what i've I, i've been reading it's uh it's the dk04 it's actually on land landley's uh, uh website wait for it to bloody low because for it takes forever here you go it is width 1200 millimeters height 780 millimeters by 11 because you can adjust the height and then the dimensions depth is 750 millimeters why can't you just put it in inches everyone understands inches not fucking millimeters so now you're gonna have to make me go all the way over here and do fucking convert two inches Millimeter 47.2 inches, so eh, 48 inches round up, which is five feet. So, correction, it's five feet across. Uh, meh. 
the desk I'm using right now is six feet. The desk next to it, six feet. The desk over here, six feet. I'm used to six foot long desks. Um, it's easy to, to, to see, and there's a control measurements for you. The up, down, LED displays on the height, uh, and in the memory, like I was telling you. And the way they've got the airflow design is they've got it that it's pulling air from the back and pushing it across you. They do say you can use 120 millimeter thick radiators, uh, uh, you know, 120 by 480 by 360 by 240 by uh, 120. So, meh. I like me. I like my 60 mil. I like my big thick radiators. More thin density, easier to to use, less static pressure fans, reduces noise. If you really, really, really are going for hardcore overclocks, throw some stat high static pressure fans on those buggers and watch them do double overtime. And, and, and where you're maxing out, at, say, 4.4, 4.5, you can bump it all the way up to almost 5 gigahertz, uh, 4.8, 4.9, uh, on the same radiator, just by changing out the fan. Because it moves, it grinds a little bit more noisy, but most gamers these days run headsets. Uh, most live streamers like myself run headsets. Uh, we don't bother with uh, that sort of crap. And again, with it being uh, is it a, a, a polycarbite or an acrylic top? Because if it's glass, let's see, it's aluminum body, it's tempered glass. Are oh, you fucking nuts? Are you nuts, Lee and Lee? I n okay. Here's a hint. It's tempered glass. Great. It means when it shatters, it shatters into little tiny pieces. Um, but it doesn't do well against scratches. It doesn't ship well. Ask any glass manufacturer, they'll tell you. Tempered or not, it just does not ship well. I can see a lot of RMAs because the glass is broken or cracked or worse. It's shattered in shipping. Um, uh, eight expansion slots. Meh. Does ATX and micro ATX, no EATX. Look at the size of the damn thing. You can't fit a server motherboard in there. Because I, the only reason why I would want to get a desk like this right now is to throw in a nice little server machine, server motherboard, you know. 48-ish cores. Go, no, actually, go, no, no, I won't be that hoggy with cores. I'll go about 24, 20, 26 cores. Go to a couple of Xeons, you know, some i7 Xeons. And about me 50, 64 gigs of RAM. Turn it into a nice little encoding PC. Knock out freaking high quality YouTube videos like that. You know, none of this freaking waiting 20. Oh, better yet, turn it into my actual new encoding PC for Twitch. Hello, 1080, 60 frames per second. Pfft, no sweat. You know, but. Uh, And, oh, it comes with eight fans. Four in the front, four in the rear. Mm. Maximum length on graphics cards is 320 millimeters. Cooler height, 140 millimeters. Radiato, I mean radiator. 120 millimeter by 480 max. 120 by 220 max. An optional. How the fuck is a power supply optional? We're going to stand it with a hand crank. Um, I would honestly have to take the tempered glass out and replace it with some polycarbonate, really nice thick polycarbonate, uh, uh, a plexi, um, customized, you know, t to my liking. The case itself, I would dismantle it, remove the electronics, take it over to my buddy's shop and watch him, have him chrome it for me. Um, and in the clear coat, I'd probably do like some, some ghost graphics in the clear coat, probably like the, the carbonation logo or something like that. Definitely stencilize the carbonation logo on the the polycarb. But while, I mean, while that's do, while he's doing that, I'll take the glass over to my local uh, 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 hardware store, have them cut match the um, the, the, the polycarb, polycarb or, or plexiglass to the exact thickness I want, and then head over to my other, my other buddy shop at Sign Edge and have them uh, uh, acid edge my Twitch logo 
in the in, in the poly car behind it so that when I threw some lighting LEDs in there and turn the power button, boom, fucking yes. Know what I mean? Also, that means when you when you uh, uh, hook up, see right here they've got uh, monitor arm and stand support. How when it's going to put an immense amount of pressure on that glass, right there on that focal point? You're fudging nuts, man. You're fudging nuts. Oh wow, you can take a special panel out the back. It still doesn't matter. You're putting an awful lot amount of weight. See, what people don't seem to understand is, yeah, granted. The, the, the thinner monitors get, the heavier they still get at times. This uh, Asus uh, uh, monitor that I'm using right now, it weighs about 10, 15 pounds. The Hewitt Packard uh, uh, HP 2009M monitor that I got here on the side from me reading chat when I'm on Twitch, that weighs about 8 pounds. And the, the, the monitor next to it, the third monitor, yes, I just recently added a third monitor. The third monitor on that one, uh, uh, weighs about four pounds. Okay, so you've got 15, eight, four, eight and four is 12, 15, that's 20, 25, 26, that's 27 pounds just from three monitors right there. Focused on one point on glass. Now, say you're a, a real hardcore gamer that has six monitors all the same. For example, look, look, look at Barnacle's and Ergasm with his. 40 something inch monitors. Okay, he puts them all on one stand like Windle does at Syndicate Tech. Okay, on that great big huge stand arm, and you're bolting it to a, a, a glass table, you're going to shatter that glass in mere seconds. Or say you're, you're a, 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 a very boisterous gamer who gets very angry like me. I'm known. Eat, sleep, rage, repeat, you know? And, and Something happens in the game, you get a little, little bit too excited, you, you know, you bash your table, just like that, bam, you just broke the glass. Why? Because there's pressure focused on one point, which means the glass and other points is going to be structurally out of balance. So any kind of pressure at all, anywhere, slamming your headset down, a game controller, your fist, whatever, glass is going to shatter. So you're better off, I would drop the glass... I would go with polycarbonate or 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 a really 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 like half inch maybe inch thick uh, uh, plexiglass. That way, because plexi will 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 um, not warp, but it will adjust. Which is why you can, which is why some some PC cases that have a a non angulated window. An angulated window is a window that pops out from the side panel. Right? The side panel is like this and then the window sticks out by about a couple of millimeters because they, they've molded the, the edges to make it stand out to so give this whole weird fucking old school tv look don't know why uh, um those those panels won't flex but a, a window a, a straight window will actually have some flex to it this is why race car drivers why nascar the glass in nascars is is plexi uh, uh, uh the side windows the front the main windshield the the the, the back glass is all plexi Hot rodders are replacing their actual natural glass with this plex with this polycarbonate plexi stuff. Why? Because it can flex and bend. So when a rock chip bounces up, hits the freaking plexiglass, it just goes doing and bounces. It absorbs the impact from the rock chip, and the rock chip just bounces off. No damage done to the glass. Can't do that with tempered glass. Tempered means it's being heat treated, which means if it's if it does shatter, which means it's expected to shatter, hint friggin' hint, it's gonna shatter into little tiny pieces all over your electronics. And what's your monitor stand gonna do? Bloop bloop fall right in. And it's gonna crush whatever's there or hit you in the freaking head or worse. Like I said, it's a poor design. Good 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 idea, poor design. The fact that it doesn't doesn't allow for anything other than than ATX and, 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 and micro ATX, no extended ATX. I like a nice size motherboard. I don't like these little tiny micro shits. Okay, I like me a nice good mother. What's the point in having a, 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 a water cooled Titan X's if they're sandwiched in together so bad you can't you can barely even get anything going because you've got it on a freaking micro ATX board or worse if you can have a micro ATX that can actually have a, a more than one graphics card on it. Um, like I said, I, I would prefer a much larger selection of motherboard standoffs in, in size. Um, 
which is why you want to go to uh, PC Junkie. No, no, it's uh, uh, not PC Junkies. Uh, MMPC Tech. Go to MMPC Tech and um, look up their their free. Uh, they got free templates for like fan grill sizes, fan uh, fan pinholes. They've even got one for motherboard tray standoff designs. Uh, uh, so find that, use that, drill out your own freaking platform. Buy some motherboard standoffs from them or from from eBay or wherever. Or just raid your, your your old PC case, nick those, you know, drill and tap, thread them in, boom, you're fucking done. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. Um, as for this Lian Lee and Lee DKO4 case, good 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 idea. Simply because Red Harbinger are just not doing their damn job. Uh, 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 supplying the market with these cases um upside is yeah the, the lean lee case if you're a, a taller guy and you know bigger you know longer leg longer shin bones and you want your desk a little bit higher you can do that with the dk04 you really can't do that with the red harbinger so i re oh, man that optical drive placement eh, needs to go over there eh. It's in the wrong place, in my in my honest opinion. In the wrong place, it needs to go over there. Because again, as I was explaining to you, USB ports dangling in the way, whatever. If you're like me and you've got like these little micro... Uh, 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 um, I mean, I think, I think this is 64 gigs. Yeah, this one's a 64 gig one. I have these on my keys. So, you know, I, I plug it in a USB. Now I've got keys dangling in front of my fucking optical drive port. You know what I mean? It's just, it's annoying. Um, to say the least, so I would move the optical drive port onto the opposite side. Um, that way, the optical drive is free and clear to do whatever the hell you want. Humans have two arms, morons. You know, so you know, that's what I would do. Um, other than that, offer it in different colours other than bloody black. Um, the amount of people that are probably going to buy this and immediately strip it down and powder coat it, like myself. Uh, are, are, are through the roof and notice that the price isn't listed um you can download the manual for it already yay where's the price you know what i mean there's no price but you're probably looking at about a thousand to two thousand in between that that area a thousand to two thousand Ooh, where to buy really now you're looking at about a thousand to two thousand Let's see, we're in North America. I'm in the United States. Oh wow, I can buy from a whole bunch of freaking micro center. Ooh, new egg. Fifty bucks a new egg won't even have this. Okay. Here's new egg. Let's take a look. DK04. No. A whole bunch of freaking Lego games and shit, but but no. And just just for shits and giggles, we'll, we'll even go to uh, computer cases. Type in DK dash zero four. See, it's still showing me video games inside the fucking cases. GG New Egg, GG. Nice note. Your site's broken. So yeah. There's no, no word on the price yet as of recording this video. So, see. DK04. See? Computer cases. See? Nothing. There we go. We'll even, we'll, we'll, we'll even, we'll even go to... Find Lee and Lee, Lee and Lee. All the way at the bottom, probably. Lee and Lee. Apparently, they're doing the kind of thing in, in, in here twice. There's two sets of Lee and Lee, which doesn't make any sense. There it is. Looks completely different from the one you see. And there you go. It is... Dun, dun, dun. Thousand bucks. 
And look, it's only got two egg review already. Two egg review. Wow. Wow. And it looks nothing like... How does this look like that? Someone please explain. Oh no, that's not the uh, no that that's the the oh that's another desk one they came up with, huh? That appears to be a a complete failure. There you go, DK02. Wow, Lee and Lee just don't learn. They've made three so far. Three separate desk cases. Look at that one, oh my god. Okay, so that's the Q2X. This is the Q... Oh, it's a 0-2X, whatever. Again, it's the same horrible box design. Look at those legs. Ugh. Yeah, you slide it all forward. Wow, just, okay. Wow, missing parts from the manufacturer. They, oh my God, just guys, what did I say at the beginning of the, sh the, the beginning of the video? Lee and Lee are known for low quality high turnaround junk um and this just shows it you know it just goes to show now they're coming out with this uh this desk that uh, is supposed to be a partnership with stand up i've got a funny feeling stand ups are probably gonna break their partnership with lee and lee pretty goddamn quick because of this guys so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Please smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit that follow button. Again, I greatly appreciate it around here. And again, I do do video game reviews. I do hardware reviews, as you're seeing. Stuff like that. Um, if I can get the finances together, I'll look at buying some of these desks and testing them out and whatnot and letting you know their po potential possibilities. Um, Red Harbinger, come on! Come on, start spurting out these bloody desks. Hell, sell some at Best Buy and some other big box chains. You'll be bloody amazed, all right? Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace the fuck out, and I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Later.